We're breaking down the Seattle Seahawks draft. It was one of the more interesting and talked about drafts, I think, of any team this year. Dan, when you look at just in terms of the needs they had, how do you think they did filling spots? Well, you know, I guess uh, they did all right in that regard. I mean, they came into the draft really wanting to uh, uh, improve their speed at the linebacker position and to improve their pass rush, both inside and outside. And so theoretically, they did that. Whether they picked the right guys to do that, I'm not quite sure. Overall, when you look at all their picks, what was your favorite pick they made? The second pick that they took, Bobby Wagner. I like him a lot. He's probably my favorite out of Utah State. Uh, he's been called a tackle machine. He should be an excellent replacement for David Hawthorne, who's moved on, but who was their leading tackler each of the last three seasons. So I think he's real good as far as filling that linebacker uh, need. Uh, and they also got another linebacker a little later on. Now that first pick, Bruce Irvin, uh, you know, I mean, you had Quinton Copels, you had Melvin Ingram. Irvin, I mean, he's got tremendous natural skills, but boy, are there some red flags with this guy. I mean, as recently as this past March, he was arrested. So, I mean, he's just a real gamble for greatness here. Is he your least favorite pick? No, Russell oh, Wilson. Oh, yeah? Well, they uh, had a lot to choose from, I guess. Yeah, they do have a lot to choose. I mean, seven of their ten picks uh, on defense, and defense is the strength of the team. Um, and then the offensive guys, the one that they took, Russell Wilson, I mean, I think he's a wonderful story. I love watching him play. But why in the world are they going after a quarterback when they seem to have three pretty good ones on the, on the roster, including their $27 million man, Matt Flynn? Yep. I don't get it. Yeah, just signed a quarterback. They still have DeVaris Jackson there, a developmental guy, and Josh Porter said now. Russell Wilson with a third round pick. So when you look at the whole thing, it doesn't sound like you're overly impressed with what they did. What grade are you giving? Well, you know, I'm going to give them a C. Um, you know what? Make it a C minus. All right. But I'm going to tell you something. We gave them a C minus last year, and I think if you look back, they might have had the best draft of anybody last year. They ended up with four starters plus uh, Doug Baldwin and uh, Ricardo Laquette. So, you know, uh, I give them the benefit of the doubt. Right, yeah, you know, that's the thing with this. You never really know in the draft. It may look one way and then it turns out another. We'll just have to wait and see on these guys. That's what we're looking at for the Seattle Seahawks draft. We gave him a C, Dan gave him a C minus. I think he's been a little bit generous. I think he wanted to give him worse than that. We have grades for every team, though. You can check them out at profootballweekly.com.